Nope, not big enough. No. It's big enough. It's oh, on, it is the, big it's enough. on the main shell. Yeah, you're gonna be not making much money at this game. You throw them back. <laughs> How you doing? Chris. How's Jimmy, right? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my stern man, Chris, as Chris. well. Chris, how are you? Did you this take your seasick tablets and everything? I took about 10 of them. Got Good you some go. Grundin so that you can stay dry as well and take those white pants back to Chicago. We're in Kennebunkport, Maine. Um, we're about to go out and, and haul some traps and pull up some, some beautiful Maine lobster. This is something that's like been on my bucket list to actually go out and catch some lobster right out of the ocean. I feel like a real lobsterman, except not at all. <laughs> The name comes from my grandfather and the fact that he would tell me, your foolish pride's gonna get the best of you one of these days. So I thought it would be pretty fitting to have my boat named the Foolish Pride, kind of in honor of him. When we get the first one up, I'll have Chris show you how to put the bait bag in, then you're on your own. <laughs> so what warrants them as lobsters deemed for the box? We have an undersize and an oversize. Okay. So it's, it's to protect the, the stock of lobsters. So we throw back way more lobsters than we'll ever keep. So we're gonna measure this one here, this one, that's a keeper, that's gonna be somebody's dinner tonight. Oh, you need a bait bag. Yeah, gotta We're getting ahead bag. of ourselves. We yeah, get excited we're... around here. Is there any technique to the gaffing or is it just, uh, make sure you turn the hook the right way. All right, so this one's got quite a few. So I call these a hornet's nest. You reach in there and every one of them wants to get a hold of you, so good luck. We'll give you a chance to tangle with these guys a little bit and put some bands on them if you want. All right. That's why about halfway up so you can't open it. Like you. Sure. you feel like you're getting the hang of it? No. I was told you gotta be smarter than the bait bag. <laughs> you guys are like farmers, construction workers, and engineers all rolled into one. You know, literally, the amount of work that you guys do and what, what you have to know to be out here is... There's a lot more to it than just going out there and setting the track. Right. So, we've got a couple of nice new shells here to look at. Awesome. Beauties. What are we going to do with them? Well, I mean, I was thinking just super simple. We're just gonna go like a little, a little light, quick fry, and I'm like a tempura style fry. Okay. Just a light, crispy batter, um, just to really kind of showcase the taste of the lobster, so it's right. not too much that gets in the way. We're gonna get them going, and I'd love for you to give me a hand breaking them down. Yeah, that's great. Maybe I can show you a trick or two. We got them out. We've got a couple of them on ice. The rest of them are chilled. I've never worked with a new shell before. I've only broken hard shells. So for me, I'd love to hear it from you on how you how you love breaking them down. Okay, so one of the things I really like to tell people about the new shell is we can do this all with our hands. It's a lot faster and you don't need any tools. So you gotta sample it or else you don't know if it's any good. Amazing. Makes it <clears throat> makes it well worth the trip. Yeah. And not even just lobster, just the new shell factor. I mean this is like Well, it's something you never got to see before. It's well, all new to you. It tastes like candy. So I hope this is something that you're going to take back with you and uh, try to pass on to some of the other chefs and, and maybe get some more of my lobsters out there and eat them and stuff. And here we are. Oh, it looks so good. I also made us a nice little salad too. I season it with a little bit of esplet chilies that we get from Spain, um, some dried Persian limes, and then a little bit of lime zest as well. Before we get started, I'd love to make a toast to all of you guys. First to Diane for the chai blossoms and uh, having us at this beautiful house here. And also to you too, Chris. I mean, for taking me out and showing me this and getting to be a part of this, this piece of Maine is, is unreal. This day has been quite an experience. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better morning to get out there and learn a little bit about lobstering and to go out there and, and do it hands on. And then finish with this beautiful meal you prepared for our Maine new shell lobster. And uh, we get to share it with some great company. Awesome. Well, cheers to you guys again. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you it. Much. Thank you.